So far, the only way for an American to experience the convenience and wonder of a bullet train would be to travel to the Far East, in nations such as China and Japan. However, in the not-so-distant future, developers in California have big plans to change that with the California High-Speed Rail, or CHSR, a high-speed rail system that, after a number of delays, has finally begun construction. While the CHSR has been in the news a lot lately, primarily due to its numerous financial setbacks, the origins of the rail system actually stem way back to 1996, when then-Governor Pete Wilson, along with the California legislature at the time, established the California High-Speed Rail Authority, an entity tasked with planning, developing, and constructing a state-of-the-art high-speed rail system throughout California. By 2008, an initial proposal was completed, and California residents voted to enact the plan by voting yes to Proposition 1A, which included a rail system that would eventually connect all major population centers and the approval of bonds to fund the initial implementation phase. The CHSR plans on being constructed in calculated phases, with the first length of track connecting Merced and Bakersfield, cities that are roughly 180 miles apart. This initial segment, nicknamed Interim IOS, is slated to begin operation by the year 2030. There is also a plan to concurrently update the existing rail systems between San Francisco and Los Angeles to eventually blend into the infrastructure of the CHSR. Upon completion, maximum train speeds will approach 220 miles per hour in fully dedicated high-speed rail segments and 110 miles per hour in blended segments such as that between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Aside from being extremely cool and time-saving, the CHSR is also targeting vast environmental benefits. The rail system will reduce pollution attributed to other mid- to long-range traveling, as well as cut down on carbon emissions across the state. Traffic will also be significantly impacted, and in a state as notorious for being among the very worst in terms of daily gridlock, this is something California residents are extremely pleased about. There are also a number of anticipated economic benefits for California residents. While the CHSR system is full of hopeful anticipation, it has certainly not been without its fair share of controversy and pessimism. Many experts have criticized the plan's projected route, its management, and most of all, its funding, or lack thereof. In fact, by early 2022, growing public concerns over the realistic completion of the project were looming. As a result, current California Governor Gavin Newsom made a public push for the release of the final bond payments in order to get the project back on track, and also signed SB 198 into law, a statute that requires Interim IOS to be the authority's top priority. Once Interim IOS is complete, the authority plans to shift its focus on completing and linking the Merced-San Jose segment, which will allow the new system to run from San Francisco to Bakersfield. However, funding for this next phase is yet to be secured. After an updated project report was released in early 2023, residents of California were stunned to see the new projected costs of each phase of construction and implementation. All in all, the latest estimates put the entire project's cost somewhere between $102 and $145 billion, depending on a myriad of factors, including the cost of tunneling, for which the authority hasn't even explored yet. Regardless, the CHSR is set to be easily the most expensive public transit project of all time, and many are left questioning at this point if a full completion of the rail system is even worth it or possible at that. Even so, there are obvious benefits to a completed California high-speed rail project. Residents will be able to travel from San Diego all the way to Sacramento in much shorter times than previously attainable, and in doing so, will provide boosts to the local economy and the environment. However, with the various hardships that the project has faced since its inception, and the global recession-like economy still suffering from the effects of the pandemic as well as the war in Ukraine, many are left wondering, will the CHSR ever come to fruition? We sure hope so, because it is high time that America caught up to other leading nations in terms of the next generation of public transit. 
If the CHSR is able to overcome its hurdles and prove to the rest of the country how much of a positive impact a high-speed railway can be, by the end of the century, America just might have broken ground on an intercontinental high-speed rail system. If it is ever completed, the California High-Speed Rail will be a modern marvel, stretching nearly the entire length of the Golden State and connecting major cities such as San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Sacramento in a cutting-edge fashion, which will of course save California residents and tourists time, money, and will serve as the experience of a lifetime. We've covered a ton of the various amenities, activities, and attractions throughout the world, so feel free to go through our channel and check them out. We would truly appreciate it if you would leave us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest content. Thanks for watching.